Elon Musk destroyed Don Lemon in his interview and blocked his show. Why did this happen? Let's take a look at it. Do you believe that X and you have some responsibility to moderate hate speech on the platform? That you wouldn't have to answer these questions from reporters about the Great Replacement Theory as it relates I to Democrats? I don't have to answer these questions. The Great Replacement Theory as it relates to Jewish people. Do you think that... I don't have to answer questions from reporters. Don, the only reason I'm doing this interview is because you're on the X platform and you asked for it. Uh, otherwise, I would not do interview, this interview. I am deeply offended by the messages of the ADL and any other groups that are de facto against white racism, anti-Asian racism, or racism of any kind, the billionaire claims. I'm sick of it. Stop it now, Musk said. Don starts asking stupid and annoying questions, and Musk's response was obvious. Sounds to me like the reporter went overboard with a question like that. So you don't think, that you, do you think that you wouldn't get in trouble or you wouldn't be criticized for these things? I'm or criticized that there possibly, was... I could care less. Illuminating in so many ways. All right, I have two, I have two things I want to ask you about that, Don. First, the great replacement theory. Right. As you bring it up, um, you know, he has tweeted, uh, a tweet he shared, increasing illegals boost Dem voting power, causing them to recruit more. If Dems win President, House, and Senate, they'll grant citizenship to all legals, and America will become a permanent one-party deep socialist state. Yeah. Right? He has gone there directly. Uh, how much does he stand by these ideas? Well, he didn't quite seem to understand that he did. Uh, originally, he did that with Jewish people, sort of a great replacement theory thing that he did with Jewish people, and he got in trouble, and he had to go to Auschwitz and, and answer questions and, and apologize and go with Ben Shapiro. Jesus. These bought media channels have gone head over heels with this situation. Musk is a media man, and every time he talks about the country's problems or what's going on, these rats take things out of context and make him out to be the villain. They are horrible, and just don't realize the damage they are doing to humanity. But um, he doesn't understand that that sort of rhetoric that he talks about, the Great Replacement Theory and, um, and a migrant invasion, that's what radicalized shooters use in their manifestos those exact words the people who go and shoot up people whether they be latino people who live in texas or black people who are in a supermarket uh, in buffalo or jewish people who are who are worshiping those people use the same rhetoric that they are tropes that they're either racist for latinos or black people or for jewish people and i wanted to know if he had, if he felt any responsibility as someone who has the, one of the largest social media and information platforms in the world. Musk has created platforms where everyone can say what they want, where everyone can express their opinion on a situation. You are brazenly taking advantage of this and making the man look bad. That's your whole point, you greedy rats. Hi everyone, Elon Musk is mad at me. And I just put out a statement about what happened between him, me, and the interview that he is apparently so upset about. But make no mistake about this. This is going to be my first episode of The Don Lemon Show this coming Monday, March 18th. So make sure you tune in. This does not change anything about the show except for my relationship with Elon and X. And there, there's a whole lot that went down and I'm gonna tell you about it in the coming days. I know though that many of you were not happy that I was doing this in the first place and you told me so. I just want you to know that I did this deal because not only do I believe in free speech, but I believed that this was the best possible chance for the work that I'm doing to reach the largest amount of people. So speaking of free speech, right? I thought the first person interview, no brainer, Elon Musk, the man who calls himself a free speech absolutist. The extreme reaction from those who fear free speech speaks for itself, the entrepreneur wrote, adding that by free speech, he means only what is in accordance with the law. I am against censorship that goes far beyond the law. If people want less freedom of speech, they will ask the government to legislate accordingly. So going beyond the law is against the will of the people, Musk explained. Don, you are wrong and acting like a little girl when you try to complain to people. I asked him to do it. He willingly agreed to the interview. Throughout our conversation, I kept reiterating to him that although it was tense at times, I thought it was good for people to see and hear our exchange and that they would learn from our conversation, learn more about him, learn more about me. But apparently, free speech absolutism doesn't apply when it comes to questions about him from people like me. What did we talk about? Why is he so upset? Does he even have a reason to be upset? Make sure you watch it on Monday on YouTube and everywhere you listen to podcasts and you can decide for yourself. You can even watch it on X because I'm still going to post it there and I'm sure others will as well.
I've decided something for myself. If you do a good job of figuring out how Don approached the interview, it will become immediately clear to everyone that he just tried to strangle Musk, but he was stronger. What do you think about that? Write your opinion in the comments and don't forget to watch other shocking news on the channel.